very pleasant good day my beloved brothers and sisters in christ and outside the body of christ well once again this is your christian brother eric Braxton speaking to you all from his beloved country trinidad and tobago the land of my nativity the land of my birth trinidad and tobago this wonderful island country that is in the blue caribbean sea in the month of november 2019 reaching out to my atheist brothers in the in the atheist community from dallas texas houston texas and the rest of my atheist brothers throughout the united states and of america my other 80s brothers and sisters throughout the world, throughout the international community. I say welcome. Reaching out to my 80s brothers and sisters with my Christian right hand of fellowship, teaching them that God exists, God is real, that Christ and the Father is real according to the Bible, and that God is a spirit invisible being, and he possess supreme supernatural power, and it is he is the one who created the angels and mankind and the universe, which is intelligently designed by God. And God is, God is the one who's in charge of us and are responsible for creating the universe and mankind and everything therein. And that God exists. And the Bible is his words from Genesis to Revelation. I just want to say to my atheist brother, um, Russell Glaster and Don Barker on the atheist show, experience show on YouTube calling in program. Don Barker... There is nothing, and glass, um, Russell Glass, Glaster, you both of you all are on a fallacy. Yes, all the little Christian brother Eric Braxton are teaching you all that fact. It's time you all wake up to it and smell the coffee and start drinking the coffee. That's as an example, it means the truth. Russell Glaster and Don Barker, there's nothing like positive atheism. Everything about atheism is negative and non honorable. There's nothing honorable about atheism because atheism is denying the existence of God. And therefore, there's nothing positive about that. Everything about atheism is negative. And therefore, I, Eric Braxton, all the little Christian brother, have stamped atheism negative. Let me stamp it. Bam! Negative. And therefore, you all are, all are on a fallacy because you all are saying that you all are teaching positive atheism there's nothing like positive atheism everything about atheism is negative and atheism can never have a positive impact in the lives of others atheism will always have a, a negative impact in the lives of others because you all are telling people that god doesn't exist and the bible says that we must fear god and reverence god and um, matt russell glaster glaster and dan barker the bandits and the criminals and the jug addicts and the drug pushers and the gangs in los angeles even in miami florida they have access to the internet and they have cell phone and when they see you all on the internet teaching that god doesn't exist you know what they will say and began believing what you all are teaching them that false doctrine of atheism hear what the demanded and that these criminals will be saying in the in the drug gangs that have the era 15 rifle and deadly rifle and have ak-47 and you use the submachine gun the, the israeli powerful handgun you know what they'll be saying well i hear glass i'm um, russell glasgow say that god doesn't exist and hear what they will say look we have guns we have ammunition we do afraid the lord the miami police department because there's no higher power up there that watching us that we have to give account to him and therefore, these police officers, they are human beings like ourselves. They have weapons, we have weapons. We don't have to fear them. And if they attack us, we can shoot them and we can attack them and kill them. And much less these civilians that have no guns. Imagine the police, they say we don't fear the police. And the ordinary citizens have no guns, they will say we don't fear them, we can attack them, we can shoot up the place, we can kill them. Because of that, because of that negative teaching you all teaching. That God doesn't exist. That they will be thinking. Because they will be thinking we don't have to show no reverence or no fear to no higher power. Because they will say, I hear I hear, I hear Dan Barker say there is no God. And I hear um, Russell Glasto say, Glaster, there is no God. So they will say, well, we don't have to fear God. You see? But when, but when they hear... But the very sad bandits and criminals and drug pushers arm to the teeth. When we Christians preach a gospel of the kingdom of God and tell them that God exists and he's watching the things that we are doing right or wrong, ah, they will be start to think and say, you know, there's a higher power. 
You see, there's a God, you know, and this bandit life and this criminal life that I live in, robbing and killing and shooting. I have to get rid of this life. I want to straighten up my life. I will have to um, live a good life because I is the only one in the family shooting and killing. Belongs to a gang. My brothers and my sisters, they are going to church. They are, they are lawyers, doctors, they have a good job. They are not criminal, you know. So the person will be start thinking and he will say, look, this God is, I will have to give account to this God in the day of judgment. judgment. You see, what we are teaching the Christian, we are teaching God consciousness, which is honorable and positive. And that gospel of the kingdom of God that Christ instructs us to teach will have a positive impact in the lives of others. Because when that bandit here, that God exists, and Jesus Christ is the Savior, and there's a day of judgment, he will say, well, if I continue with this bandit life and I die that way, I will have to stand before God in the day of judgment. So let me straighten up my life. And therefore, when he, when he make that conscious effort, right, change will come in his life. But the positive change where he will become a good person now. And if he finally, if he go through with that change and renounce his bandit life, stop selling drugs, stop throwing with the gun and the ammunition, he not robbing no bank again, he repent of his sins, he get baptized now, he will become a Christian. Now he living a holy and righteous life. You see, a positive change has to place in his life. You see, because now we believe in God and he starts showing reverence to God. He has respect for God now. He's no more a bandit. He's an ex-bandit. He's an ex-job trafficker now. Now he's serving God. Now he's telling others about God. You see, you see, that gospel of the kingdom of God that we are teaching that God exists is positive and that is the God experience and that will always have a positive impact in the lives of others because that will change people from being bad to become good and to become holy and righteous people ah that's what the bible teach so that is honorable and that is positive and that is the god experience and that is positive honorable the god experience and will always have a positive impact in the lives of others transforming the lives of others people from bad to good how wonderful. You see? The gospel of the kingdom of God. The teaching of the Bible. But Matt, but but last, but um, Dan Barker and Russell Plaster, you all are teaching atheism. That could never have a positive impact in the lives of others because that is that is that is negative and unhonor un unhonorable. Because you all are teaching. That God doesn't exist. So that can so you see, you all on a fallacy. There's nothing like positive atheism. Everything about atheism is negative and I've stamped it. Bam. You see, negative. It's time you all learn that lesson. And I heard Braxton are teaching you all that lesson. The God experience is positive, honorable. The God experience. Because God exists and He's real. But the atheist experience that you all are teaching, everything about that is negative non-honorable and negative and can never have a positive impact in the lives of others and can never have a positive impact in the lives of others because you all are teaching positive atheism you all are a fallacy there's nothing like positive atheism everything about atheism is negative and there's nothing there's nothing honorable about that everything about that is negative there's nothing honorable about that. And the, and the atheist experience cannot benefit no one. That is just making people become... That is only turning people to become... Um, not to believe in God. And making people to deny the existence of God. You all are, that is making people to become godless. Godless, not believing in God. When God wants all of us to be, be God conscious, when God wants every man to be godly, to be righteous, to be godly, righteous to know that he exists. You see? And that is positive, the God experience. is positive and honorable and will always have a positive impact in the lives of others. The God experience, teaching others to become godly, to become righteous, to become good, 
and to know that God exists and he's real, positive. But the atheist experience is teaching people to become godless, not to believe in God and to deny the existence of God. That is negative and that is not honorable because there's nothing honorable about that. And that can never have a positive impact. And that, and that will always have a negative impact in the lives of others. That atheist doctrine that you all are teaching. So you see? So you see? My dear friends, I want you all to know that. So you see, you all think you all are doing the right thing. Russell Glasto and Dan Barker. Not realizing you all are engrossed in deep ignorance. You all are doing the wrong thing. And therefore, I'm teaching you all the right thing. Yes, all the little Christian brother, way down in Trinidad and Tobago. Yes, I'm teaching you all the right thing. Don't get tied up and carry away because you all are believe. Only looking at the color of the skin or what? I, Eric Braxton, is not white. You all are white. But I'm not here to deal with white or black. Right? Whether you all are white and I'm not white. It doesn't matter whether you all are white, black or green. I don't see colors. I go beyond colors. My dear friends, we are all human beings of the, in this great human family. And therefore, I'm teaching you all the facts, how it is. Right? You all need to renounce that atheist experience, embrace the God experience, to, be God, to become God conscious and ex, ex, accept the fact that he exists. Because the creation is a proof that God exists. But you all are rejecting the, 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 the evidence that God exists, which is a physical creation, and saying that God doesn't exist. No, you, you all are denying the... No, you all accept the physical creation, but do not want to accept there is a, there is a God who created it. And on top of that, saying that the physical creation is not the proof that God exists. Well, the creation, the physical creation is the proof that God exists because it's intelligently designed and it cannot make itself. But you all want to accept the physical creation but say it make itself. Nothing cannot make itself. Everything had, nothing can, can come out of nothing. Everything had to come out of something. And everything come out from the mind of God. Yes, God created the universe. He's a person. And he created the universe intelligently designed by he. Yes, and God, is ex God exists and he is real. And there's, there's nothing like no Big Bang. The Big Bang is false. Everything is intelligently designed by God. Not the car did not design itself. The car didn't make itself. Someone made the car. Well, the moon did not make itself. God created the moon. Not that cell phone that you have in your hand. No. Don Barker and Russell Glasgow. That cell phone that both of you all have in your pocket. Well, the cell phone didn't make itself, eh? It's people that make the phone. Well, the same way the sun didn't make itself. It's God make the sun. But you all want to accept. You all accept is a man make the phone, or they quick to accept that one, but deny that nobody then God did not create the, the sun. You see? You see? Well, the same way how there's a there's a phone maker, there's a sun maker, and that sun maker is God, he created the sun and he created the moon. And the same way how the cell phone didn't make itself, the same way the sun and the moon did not make itself. I could assure you all that. So wake to that consciousness, wake to that reality, my dear friends. I do not want to see you all remain in that gutter of ignorance, right? In that gutter of ignorance. And the only one to deliver you all from that gutter of ignorance is Jesus Christ. When you, act, you all acknowledge that he's the savior of the world and the Bible, the Holy Bible, is the words of God. Well, I reached 14 minutes. I've gone over my initial time. So I'll be signing off here. I will continue the discussion with you all, my brothers. So shalom, peace. See you all in the next video soon. Bye-bye, my friends.